Jim the Monarch here, back once again with a new episode of The Tea Drinker, and today we're going to be looking at the Camden Tea Company. Now, the Camden Tea Company, they have a shop in the Dingwalls Gallery in Camden Market. That's uh, the bank of shops that's between the lock and the railway bridge. And they have a tea bar in uh, the West Yard, so go and explore there. I will put more details uh, down below. But I came across this when I was looking up some areas, uh, shops and uh, facilities in London where to buy tea. A lot of them I've already covered previously. I'll put some links for that as well and to my playlist. Uh, but um, I thought I'd check this out. I hadn't been to Camden for a long time. I used to go quite a lot when I was a teenager. Uh, I'd just like to take this opportunity to thank uh, Michaela, who um, served me and uh, was very patient while I, you know, was choosing the teas. So I've got quite a bit of a l little selection here. It's usually one uh, packet of tea is six pounds. Six you get for 29 pounds. So that's less than a fiver per packet. So it's really good value to sort of buy things in bulk. So let's have a look at uh, what I've picked uh, to taste test today. First of all, we have Pine Smoke Lapsang Sushong, which is a Chinese black tea. Smoke and Mystery from Imperial China. So it's a province of Fuxuan, China, origin tea. Uh, I do like the smoky taste of a Lapsang Sushong. It's a lot more sort of smokier. This is sort of more deeper than uh, Russian Caravan, which is also quite a smoky tea. We've got strawberries and cream, which is a green tea. It's a Japanese green tea, and it has lots of lovely fruit flavors in there. It says the taste of Wimbledon with green tea. So that's things. And uh, on the uh, on the packets, I've just noticed there's a lots of little did you know things, uh, which are kind of fun. Uh, so that's the censure. We have a um, Earl Grey derivative, which is the Emperor Grey. Uh, so this is uh, bergamot flavoured tea. So this is a Ceylon black tea, mallow blossoms, natural flavourings, including bergamot and lemon peel. Looking forward to tasting that. We have the Cairo chamomile. So that's chamomile and mint infusion. I had a smell of this. It had a beautiful scent, very honey uh, scented. And uh, chamomile is, of course, origin in Egypt and has Middle Eastern influences. That would be the mint. Uh, so it's got spearmint and peppermint as well. We've got uh, a rubus. Uh, creamy Caramel Rubus, Western Cape, South Africa. This is where the Rubus comes from. Yeah, there we go, the Rubus. And uh, last of all, we have a Marrakesh Mint, uh, which has a base of gunpowder green tea. The origin of that is Morocco in North Africa. Let's set up the cups, let's boil the water, and uh, let's have a first look and smell of our tea selection. Uh, before we move on to the next section, I'd just like to point out that uh, instead of using tea infusers, which I do find a bit fiddly, uh, I'm going to be using the special paper tea filters. I get these from Hopscotch, but you could probably get them from any sort of teaware shop, I suppose. Uh, they're quite handy. They're very good for making your own uh, tea bags from loose tea. And like I said, I find them a bit easier to use, a bit more manageable than than using um, diffusers. But, you know, it's up to you. Um, I, I just use these as a preference. I know they look like cigarette papers, but they're not. They're, they're um, tea filter bags. OK, let's uh, let's just move on to the next section. 
Okay, so we've added the water and we've let the teas steep for a couple of minutes and uh, we're going to have our first look. So here we have the Imperial Earl Grey. That is a lovely chocolatey brown colour, not getting a sort of individual scent off that at the moment. But when it comes to the taste test, hoping to look for sort of bergamot, sort of flowery and citrus scent. And uh, then we have our Lapsang Sushong pine, pine Smoked. Again, not much of an aroma coming off of that, uh, as you'd usually expect. Um, but hopefully with the uh, uh, taste test, again, lovely smoky aroma coming off that. Um, we've got our strawberries and cream with the uh, Sencha, quite a dark looking tea variety, a lot darker than the Earl Grey and the Lapsang Sushang. Uh, we've got our Rubus, lovely woody, almost tobacco-y scents coming off that and a lovely mahogany colour too. I think that has to be one of the favourite colours of these tea varieties. Um, we have our uh, Cairo Chamomile with its uh, sort of floral aromas but also aromas from the spearmint and peppermint and it's a sort of dusty yellow colour, slightly orange and finally we've got our Marrakesh Mint, lovely minty aroma and even though it is a uh, mint variety it's quite light in colour I've noticed uh, probably because it is a spearmint not a peppermint variety um, I would have thought it would be darker in colour it is a gunpowder variety but no it seems to be quite light in colour so there we go so uh, looking forward to tasting all of these and uh, giving my opinion on them. Okay, so we're going to kick off our taste test with the Emperor Grey. There's a beautiful, just coming from the packet, beautiful bergamot citrus aromas coming from the tea itself. So let's see how it tastes. It's a very good hominess, not a very strong um, sort of bergamot aroma with this. I'm just sort of getting a sort of a very sort of sweet sort of tea smell from this. Mm. The actual taste sort of belies the aroma of the original tea. It's actually quite subtle. Mm. I suppose there would be a sweetness, but it does have mallow flowers, which is where we uh, get marshmallow from. So it does have the sort of sweetness to it. Mm. It's quite smooth as well. Very smooth cup of tea. Um, the citrus sort of from the bergamot could be a little stronger though. One thing. Mm. It could just be that when I um, was uh, making the tea bag, I just got sort of more of the tea than the actual bergamot uh, flavouring in it. Mm. But then again, it's a lovely smooth cup of tea. No bitterness on the tongue and the aftertaste. That's a lovely cup of tea. Just wish that the bergamot flavour was a lot stronger. The, the aroma was perfect but unfortunately uh, it's not quite as um, sort of fruity as I like my Earl Grey. Now here we have our Pine Smoke Lapsang Souchon. Oh the smokiness. Oh you can smell the smokiness, the sort of charcoal -y fire immediately. Ah uh, lovely scent, lovely aroma. This is sort of bonfire and autumn 
uh, autumn, autumn night, autumn evening kind of smell. Lovely smoky taste, not overly smoky. It doesn't um, taste like you're you're eating a, a handful of carbon. So sort of, there's a sort of um, like smoked meat quality to it. It's like or smoked cheese. Uh, it's like sort of like a bacon sandwich. This would go well with a bacon sandwich. You'd have that that delicious smoky taste. But it's not overwhelming. It's it's it it's a well blended smokiness. There's um, and of course there's a sweet a little bit of sweetness due to the pine smoke. Mm. It's smoky, but it's not overwhelmingly smoky. That is a very delicious slapsang souchong. Okay. Oh, I forgot to show you the packets. Where are we now? Here we go. Uh, that's the pine smoked lapsang souchong. Uh, next we have the uh, where is it now? We have the strawberries and cream, which is a da Japanese green tea, a sencha base, with uh, lots of sort of fruit flavors and additives in all natural ingredients. So I've had uh, sort of a strawberries and cream before with my uh, in my Estonian uh, tea varieties. Um, oh, that's beautifully fruity. It has it has a sort of very confectionery sort of strawberryness to it. The sort of confectionery you'd get from like um, either strawberry licorice whips or or like a strawberry tart uh, that you get from your bakers it's not synthetic it's more sort of a confectionery strawberry and that's some of the difficulties that you've had with some of the strawberry uh flavors i've i've experienced in the past they're very very synthetic and you can tell but this is definitely a real strawberry albeit a, a freeze-dried one but but it's definitely coming from a real strawberry it has a beautiful sweet aroma it's very fruity it's quite tart actually quite a tartness um, quite strong uh, that would be the sencha tea uh, usually green teas are quite a lot strong flavored than um, like black or white teas I've noticed oh. Could do with a little more sweetness, but that's my preference. It, it the fruit's quite tart in this. Uh, it's quite sort of acidic. Hmm. And it's a little bitter as well. So, but it's a kind of an afternoon pick me up. Something you'd want with your cucumber sandwiches, I guess. Um, like I said, quite sharp fruit. Um, could do with a little bit more sweetness. I, I, I don't drink my tea with um, milk or sugar, so I don't know if that would affect it. But I'm not getting a sort of creaminess that I would expect from something that's called strawberries and cream. Uh, it's quite sharp, quite strong, but still a very good cup of tea. So now we're getting on to the more sort of herbal blends. This is the creamy caramel rubus beautiful creamy woody scent coming from this again lightly strawberries and cream aroma it's quite confectionery based sort of pastry this is the sort of thing you'd want with your um cakes on uh, on a on an afternoon tea quite sweet rather sweet um doesn't have so much of the sort of um woody tobaccoiness that uh says uh the by the scent uh, it's quite subtle the taste but there's a, a delicious smooth sweetness to it 
Mm. It's very, it's very, very nice. Uh, it's a lot better than a lot of uh, caramel varieties that I've had. Mm. A lot of the sort of caramel mixes I've had in the past have been slightly watery. Let's have a lovely sweetness to it. Could uh, have the um, Rui Boost coming a little bit uh, more prominent, um, but nonetheless, this is a very delicious variety. Mm. Good aroma, nice smooth taste. Okay, now we've got our uh, Cairo Chamomile. So, this is a blended chamomile. It's got chamomile, it's got spearmint, it's peppermint. It's relaxing and also good for your digestion. Uh, very prominent uh, mint aroma, but you can get a sense of the honey flowers from the chamomile definitely coming through. Let's give this a taste. Interesting blend. Again, it's it's usually the um, the the mint flavors that predominate. So yes, it is the mint flavors that predominate. There is a hint of the chamomile in this. Again, it may be the way I've constructed the tea bag. It may be in an, in another. A uh, spoonful of the tea it, it would be stronger for the chamomile but in this particular uh, cupful it's the mint aromas that do dominate mm. quite tasty again one worry I have with um, mint flavoring is that it can be quite oily uh, this is very smooth, there's no uh, coating of mint oil in your tongue, so it's very fresh, it's very uh, um, uh, lively, but it's very relaxing and uh, definitely something you'd want to enjoy in, a, in an afternoon or after a meal. Finally, we've got our Marrakesh Mint which is a, a green tea, gunpowder green tea and mint. It's spearmint blend, so it won't be as pungent as a peppermint. So let's give this a try. It's quite subtle actually. The, it's, it's, the spearmint's not so, um, not, not so pungent. It's, you are getting a nice blend of aromas from the the uh, green tea. As, as there's lots of green teas, they have that sort of brothy quality to it. That's sort of this vegetable broth, vegetable stock quality that I do like in a green tea. It's very warming, very comforting. So let's give it a taste. As I said, it's more the green tea aromas that are coming through. There is a slight hint of uh, spearmint. Like I said, spearmint isn't so uh, dominantly aromatic. It's a nice blend. I'd say it, the taste is 75 to 80% the green tea and more sort of 20, 25% the uh, mint. Oh. But like I said, it could just be the blending, it could just be the way I've constructed it. It's rather strong and it does have a, a bitterness to it. Um, this is more sort of a something you drink in the afternoon, maybe not after a meal. I'd, I'd definitely put that, but maybe before a meal as sort of an appetizing beverage. Um, I'd, I'd probably uh, leave the sort of chamomile blend um, as uh, afterwards that's more of an aperitif that's more of a an after after dinner drinks that sort of thing 
So, quite a good selection. Nice choice. Very fond of the Lapsang Souchong. Uh, nice aroma. Could be a little stronger on the taste. Maybe, but still quite a good taste. Nice and subtle. The Rubus, uh, again, a bit subtle on the actual Rubus flavour, but nice sweet aromas. The strawberry and cream a little too tart for my taste, could be a little bit sweeter, maybe uh, a little bit more of the freeze dried strawberries. But on the whole, a good selection. I do like the Lapsang Sushang and I did like the Chamomile, so I'd recommend those. Uh, so yes, yeah, so that was the Camden Tea Company. Um, put some links down below. Thanks again to Michaela for all her help uh, in choosing uh, these tea varieties. She was very, very helpful. Uh, she let me smell the varieties, told me some things about, she's very informative about her tea, very, very knowledgeable about her tea. So that was the Camden Tea Company. Check them out uh, if and when you're in Camden. Um, and also check out their new tea bar as well. Okay, so that was the Camden Tea Company. Uh, thank you for watching The Tea Drinker. I've been Sue Mnemonic and I will catch you again in the next video.